Hi, this is Diego Pedreros. I want to show here a, a way to estimate the change in the start of season. This is this is um, a graph of the starting decade based on let's put this down here on a rule that um, what we are saying here is since this is uh, past, uh, an agro area so what we are defining the start of season as when it rains 25 millimeters in a decade after in this region of Ethiopia it usually starts after the fourth decade of uh, or the fourth decade of the year or the first decade of uh, uh, February so if we find the first decade with 25 millimeters or more in this case is this one followed by two decades that add up to 20 millimeters so that says that this first decade is the start of the season so if we do that then we identify which one is the starting decade. So in this case, I did this for all this um, mm, years for this polygon, this particular polygon. So what this is showing us here is let's put this right here, that the start of the season is the the decade number is going up so that means that the the season is starting later so and it's a pretty strong uh, slope so what this is telling us is that this region of Ethiopia uh, the season is starting later every time so so at the beginning it was starting in around decade six but now it's starting around the cut 10, in some cases the cut 13. So that would be a way to identify how this, the start of the season is, is changing. But uh, let me show you how we got here. So this is a tool that uh, reads the time series for every uh, uh, each of these is a polygon in one of these maps. Let me show you here. So what we're doing is we are let's make this a little bigger here. So what we're doing is we are looking at each of these polygons with color uh, over here in this region in Ethiopia. So we use the geoclim to extract the statistics so this is the way to do it so you can use the geoclaim open the extract the statistics and bring the shape file with the polygons that you want to analyze so here is you bring the shape file here you bring the ID to use for that shape file it, it has to be an uh, independent ID for every polygon and then here you bring all the time series for your raster data it could be GeoClaim I'm sorry it could be chirps or it could be the blended data that we learned uh, in um, using the GeoClaim so you could bring the raster data that you want uh, here I'm going to bring um, let's say in this case I could use Ethiopia uh, this is the improved rainfall for Ethiopia so I would select the entire time series from 1981 all the way to the current decade so once we bring that here then you give it a name and you click OK once you do that then you're gonna get um, the results 
in something uh, in, in something like this. So you can copy all those results. You better make sure that um, the codes are unique. There is only one um, one code for every polygon. Sometimes you have two polygons with the same code because sometimes they, are, they divide uh, are an administrative unit by two or or uh, there is an island or there are, uh, so then you have two polygons with the same code and that would uh, make the tool not to run so make sure that the, those are those codes are individual so each of these lines has the time series from 1981 all the way to um, 2019 this is the last decade that I have so what this does is um, once you have all the all the polygons copied right here make sure that you copy them from from this line down then you run the tool and what the tool does it creates a, uh, let me show you here so it creates a page for each polygon and organizes the data this way so it organizes the data in columns by year so and this is what we've done we um, we take year uh, 1981 1982 and so forth by column then I identified what season I wanted to work on. I wanted to uh, work on the bell season that starts around February and runs to June. So what this does is that uh, it takes by the user, so I have to do it by hand because sometimes you have to make decisions um, this is very clear that the season started right here because 25 millimeters and then followed by two seas two, two decades uh, that add up to 20 but sometimes it is not very clear so the user has to make a decision sometimes um, there are examples that uh, so it's, it's difficult to do it just automatically it, it doesn't work Oh, it's, it's, it's difficult to do it in Excel so so what I did is I, I did it by hand so if I do it by hand then I have here the start of season then this one is giving me the end of season and the way I, I uh, calculate the end of season is that uh, I know that the season ends in most cases in at the end of June so what I do is uh, if I go backwards and I find the first decade that is below 10 that is the end of season so then that's the that's the the rule at the beginning to for the start of season is 2520 and for the end of season is the first one with uh, less than 10 so then that is the way we calculate the um, the length of season so this is how long the season is and if i come here then here i have this is the length of season and this is the total rainfall uh, the red bars and the red bars are calculated by the sum of the entire period so what I did is the period goes from decade 4th to decade 17 that is the that is the the total period so what we are doing is making sure 
that we take into account even those decades of those seasons that sometimes didn't even start because they didn't fulfill the rule but they had in they had a little bit of rain for example um, let's see this this season right here if you see this season it it never started so it didn't have a start of season but when we add up the rain the rainfall during the during the the entire season it has something right it has it, yeah, it, yeah, it adds up to some amount of rainfall so even though the season didn't start the rainfall added up to 54 millimeters so then uh, that's what this graph is telling us this graph is telling us how the season for that period of time consistently uh, is um, is accumulated. Now the 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 length of season is based on the rules that we uh, that I just talked about, and so is uh, so the start of season is based on that rule. So in here we are showing that uh, how the the start of season is. Uh, is behaving through the time series then you could use this method to do the the part about um, the start of season in Nepal